Hello there. In June 1942, Director Edward Grote proposed the Landkreuzer P-1000 Rakt-E, a 1,000-ton tank to be used by Nazi Germany during World War II. So today, we are gonna talk about the P-1000 Rakt-E, aka the biggest tank never built. So, let's find out. So as we know World War II happened, and how, once we hit 1000 subscribers I will tell you how World War II started. Anyways, back to our topic, development. The development history of the Rak TE, originated with a 1941 strategic study of Soviet heavy tanks conducted by Krupp, the study also giving birth to the Panzer VIII Moss, a super heavy tank. The study led to a suggestion from Krupp's director, Grote, a special officer for submarine construction who on June 23, 1942, proposed to Hitler a 1,000-ton self-propelled gun which he named Landkreuzer. So, yeah, Nazi Germany was crazy with its inventions, like, there are a lot of them, but most of them were never built. Anyways, the rat's proposed size was enormous, it would have weighed 1,000 tons, 1,100 short tons, more than five times the weight of the Panzer VIII Moss the largest tank ever constructed by Nazi Germany. The weight of the rat was made up of 300 tons of armament. The total weight of the guns themselves was 100 tons, so turret armor would have weighed 200 tons, 200 tons of armor and frame and 100 tons of track and automotive components, with other features making up the reminder. It was planned to be 35 meters long, 39 meters when including naval guns, 11 meters high, and 14 meters wide. This immense weight was to be distributed across the ground by six, 1.2 meter wide, and 21 meter long treads, together forming two composite treads with a width of 3.6 meters each. This would help stability and weight distribution, but the vehicle's sheer mass would have destroyed roads and rendered bridge crossings next to impossible. It was expected that its height and its ground clearance of 2 meters would have allowed it to ford most rivers with relative ease, thus eliminating the need for bridge crossings. The planned propulsion was by two-man version 1, 2, Z3, 2, 44-24-cylinder marine diesel engines of 6,300 kilowatt each as used in your boats, or 8, Daimler-Benz, MB501 20-cylinder marine diesel engines of 1,500 kilowatts each, as used in e-boats to achieve the 12,000 kilowatts needed to move the tank. The rat's primary weapon would have been a dual 28 centimeters SKC-34 naval gun turret. This was the same turret that was used on the German battleship Nizanor, but with one gun and its associated loading mechanism removed. This allowed extra accommodation of ammunition, and reduced the total weight of the tank by 50 tons. The guns used for the RAT would have five ammunition developed for other naval guns. It also included armor-piercing rounds with 8.1 kilograms of explosive filler, and high explosive rounds with 17.1 kilograms of explosive filler. Further armament was to consist of a 128mm anti-tank gun, of the type used in the JAGD Tiger or Moss, two 15mm Morser MG 151 15 autocannons, and eight 20mm Flak 38 anti-aircraft guns, probably with at least four of them as a flat veiling quadruple mounts. Okay, but why was the tank never built? Here are three reasons why, the first one being, that because it couldn't cross most rivers, and would have destroyed roads, means it couldn't invade cities, and also would have been impossible to transport. The second one being, that the cost of the tank would have been in millions, and also couldn't invade cities, that would have been a big waste of money, instead they used that money on other tanks, that were used in the war, like, panzers, tigers etc etc. The final reason that the tank was never built, is that it was vulnerable to aircrafts, even when having its own anti-aircraft guns, a few bombers would have been able to destroy the tank. Okay guys, this is all I got for today's video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, for more content. Anyways, bye.